Hello everyone, we are going to read our next story. Our next story is the scribe's warning. The scribe's warning. Scribe degen bu hattat. Hattat bu yazı uçu adam. Hattat nin agahlanturuvu. Let's move. The scribe's warning. A great and powerful empire needed to wood from its western areas to build palaces and homes for the emperor and his friends. However, the empire had de depleted many of the forests. The trees were important to the western area's economy. With no trees to sell, the commerce in that area was reduced. Citizens could no longer purchase the goods that they needed to survive. Their life became difficult. A poor scribe from the area wants to help. He hitchhiked to the capital to ask the emperor for charity. He was invited to the palace. It was large and cozy. Tables were loaded with, wood, with food and fires burned warmly in every fireplace. The emperor sat up upon his throne, and the scribe stood in front of him. I have come to ask for help, the scribe said. We are all very poor and hungry. You have used up all of the forest, and now we, are, we have nothing to sell. Then he added a warning. If we don't receive help, I am afraid that the entire empire will suffer. We must establish some unity. Upon hearing the scribe's request, the emperor's bad temper surfaced. He mocked the scribe. You think I should help, he said and laughed. You should just be happy to, to belong to his great empire. You should just be happy to belong to this great empire. You will get nothing from me. The emperor felt no pity for the citizens of the western area. They were condemned to starve. The scribe returned home with nothing. Not long after, an enemy invaded the empire from the west. They were, they were marching to the capital. Because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor, they remained neutral. They didn't fight the invaders, but allowed them to march freely to the capital. The emperor was defeated. If he had heeded the words of the scribe, then the citizens might have been the victors. But because he had treated them badly, they treated him badly in return. The scribe's warning. A great... A great and powerful empire needed the wood from its western areas to build palaces and homes for the emperor and his friends. Bir bir büyük ve kudretli imperia, imperator için ve onun dostları için üyler, saraylar, kuruş için şimal garbi. Uzur şarkı, şarkı hududları dağı darahlar, darahlar ge muhtaç bulup kaptı. However, the empire had depleted many of the forests. Lekin şun ya karamazdan, imperia cüde köplap ormanlarını tamam kalıptı. Deplete digen tamam kalmak. Yani şu saraylar, kasırlar, üyler, kuruluşu üçün cüde köplap ormanlarını yok atıptı. The trees were important to the western area's economy. Ana şu darahlar, şarkı, hududunun iqtisadiyatı üçün cüda muhum edi. Ekonomi degen iqtisadiyat. Western degen uşa zor gharbi eken western. Min şarkı de orba. I can make a mistake bro. So, with no trees to sell, the commerce in that area was reduced. 
satış üçün darahlar bulmagana sebeple yok ki şunda satış üçün darahlar bulmagana sebeple anlaşa hududdaki iktisadiyat commerce commerce anlaşa hududdaki ticaret savda pasayipte reduce degana bu pasaymak reduce kemaymak commerce degana ticaret savda reduce degana kemaymak citizens could no longer purchase the goods that they needed to survive fukaralar aman kalışlar üçün gerek bulurken gerek bulurken Mahsulatlarga ortiq to'lov qila olmay qolishibdi. The life became difficult. Hayot qiyinlashib ketibdi. A poor scribe from the area wants to help. Ana shu hududdagi bir bechora hattot yordam berishni xohlab qolibdi. Scribe aytganimdek, scribe bu hattot. Yozib yozadigan odam. He hitch hike to the capital to ask the emperor for charity. What does mean charity? Charity, charity, charity. Okay. O imperatordan hayriya surash uchun poytaxtgacha piyoda bepul yo'lga chiqibdi. Hech hak degan o'zi piyoda bepul sayohat qilmoq, piyoda bepul yo'lga chiqmoq. Charity degani hayriya. He was invited to the palace. U saroyga taklif qilinibdi. It was large and cozy. Saroy Katta va shinam ekan. Tables were loaded with food and fire fires burned warmly in every fireplace. Stollar, deguliklar bilan, taomlar bilan to'ldirilibdi va olovlar har olov joylarida iliqqina qilib yoqib bo'lgan edi. The emperor sat up upon his throne and the scribe stood in front of him. Imperator o'zining taxti uzra o'tirib olibdi va hatto uning ro'parasida turibdi. Rup parası kelip dedi sigen bulad. I have come to ask for help, the scribe said. Men yordam soraşlık üçünü keldim, dedi hattat. We are all very poor and hungry. Bizim barcam vücuda ham kaşşak ve açımız. You have used up all of the forests. And now we have nothing to sell. Siz de yaptı. Barca ormanlarını işledi bir bordiniz ve bizde en satış üçün hiç narsa yok. Then he added a warning. If we don't receive help, I'm afraid that the entire empire will suffer. Shundaki gen o koşum çakalı, shundaki gen o bir agahlantırışına koşupta. Eğer biz yardım almasak, bütün imperiya, bütün imperiya, bütün başı imperiya qiynalıştan korkamayın yok ki qiynalı deyip korkamayın deyip de. We must establish some unity. Biz bir damlikini hasıl kılışımız gerek deyip de. Upon hearing the scribe's request, The emperor, emperor's bad tempers were faced. Upon hearing the scribe's request, the emperor's bad tempers were faced. Hatot ning sorawuna ishkan danki gyan. İmparatorning, imparatorning yüzünü bir yaman kafiyat kapılab desigen bu olada. Temper degeni kafiyat. İmparatorning kafiyat yamanlaştı desigen bu olada. He mocked the scribe. O, o hattatning üstüden külübde. Mock, mock. Degeni bu külmak, keleke külmak. You think I should help? He said and laughed. Seni öyle sen ki ben yordan bir aman deyip de, de, külübde. You should just be happy to belong to his great empire. Sen sen de yaptı. Bana şu büyük imperiye getiştiği bulgelerin üçün üçün çeki bahtiyar buluşun gerek dipte. You will get nothing from me. Sen minden hiç narsa ala olmaysan dipte. The emperor felt no pity for the citizens of the western area. İmparator, arbi kuduttaki fukaralar üçün burar muman açınış xskalmapta. Pity de gene açınış rahim şapkat. Umma rahim şapkat xskalmapta. They were condemned to starve. Ular Ular uh, Oşlikke hüküm kılınıbdı. The scribe The scribe returned home with nothing. The scribe returned home with nothing. Hatta uyge heç narsa bulan kaytip gelibdi. Not long after an, an enemy invaded the empire from, from the west. Kıbut maslanın bir ganın Gharpını Garbi imperiyanı imperiyaya bastırı kırıptı. 
They were marching to the capital because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor. They were marching to the capital. Ular poytaqqa qarab yurishni davom etishibdi. Because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor. Okay, let's repeat this sentence again. Not long after an enemy invaded the empire from the west. Ko'p o'tmasdan bir ko'p o'tmasdan bir dushman g'arbiy imperiyaga bostirib kiribdi. They were marching to the capital. Ular poytaxt tomon yurishni boshlashibdi. Because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor. They remained neutral. Fuqarolar imperator tomonidan yomon munosabatda bo'linganliklari uchun ular neutral holda qolishibdi. They didn't fight the invaders but allowed them to march freely to the capital. Ular bosqinchilarga, bosmachilarga qarshi jang qilishmabdi. Lekin ularga osonlik holda poytaxt tomon yurishlariga ruxsat berishibdi. Persecute degani yomon munosabatda bo'lmoq, neutral degani neutral. The emperor was defeated. Imperator mag'lub bo'libdi. If he had heeded the words of the scribe then the citizens might have been the victors. Agar imperator hattotning so'zlariga quloq solganda edi, fuqarolar ehtimol g'alabaga erishgan bo'lar edilar yoki g'olib bo'lgan bo'lar edilar. Muzaffar bo'lgan bo'lar edilar, g'oliblarga aylangan bo'lar edilar. But because he had treated them badly, they treated him badly in return. Lekin imperator ularga yomon munosabatda bo'lganliklari uchun Fuqarolar ham, ya'ni ular fuqarolar ham imperatorga nisbatan yomon munosabatni qaytarishdi. Empire, imperia, deplete, yo'q qilmoq, tamom qilmoq. Economy, iqtisodiyot, commerce, tijorat, savdo, reduce, pasaytirmoq, kamaytirmoq, goods, tovar. Good degan tovar, goods bitta keladi, goods tovarlar. Scribe, hattot, hech hike, piyoda uzoq yo'l yurmoq. Charity, hayriya, cozy, shinam, throne, taht, unity, birdamlik. Temper, temper, kayfiyat, mock, kalaka qilmoq, pity, achinish, rahim, shafqat, kundem, hukum qilinmoq, persecuted, iman munasabatda bo'lmoq, neutral, neutral, heed, amal qilmoq, eshitmoq, masalat ke amal qilmoq, victor, victor, g'olib, muzaffar. Yani qolib bo'lgan odam. Our last step is to read whole story in English. The scribe's warning. A great and powerful empire needed the wood from its western areas to build palaces and homes for the emperor and his friends. However, the empire had depleted many of the forests. The trees were important to the western areas economy. Business trees to sell. The commerce in that area was reduced. Citizens could no longer purchase the goods that they needed to survive. Their life became difficult. A poor scribe from the area wanted to help. He hitchhiked to the capital to ask the emperor for charity. He was invited to the palace. It was large and cozy. Tables were loaded with food, and fires burned warmly in every fireplace. The emperor sat up upon his throne. And the scribe stood in front of him. I, I, have come, I have come to ask for help, the scribe said. We are all very poor and hungry. You have used up all of the forests. And now we have, no, we have nothing to sell. Then he added a warning. If we don't receive help, I am afraid that the entire empire will suffer. We must establish some unity. Upon hearing the scribe's request, the emperor's bad temper surfaced. He mocked. He mocked the scribe. You think I should help, he said and laughed. You should just be happy to belong to his, this great empire. You will get nothing from me. The emperor felt no pity for the citizens of the western area. They were condemned to starve. The scribe returned home with nothing. Not long after, an enemy invaded the empire from the west. 
they were marching to the capital. Because the citizens felt persecuted by the emperor, they remained neutral. They didn't fight the invaders, but allowed them to march freely to the capital. The emperor was defeated. If he had heeded the words of the scribe, then the citizens might have been the victors. But because he had treated them badly, they treated him badly in return. Congratulations, we finished this story. See you next time, bye for now.